flush, reach the biting point, and that's it. We only do a short flush. Um, really? Because it's a cart, and um, oh, you're all oh, right. You're right. You're good. You're right. I, I've only got a short, small amount of water. And to get the water, it's going right across the room, going downstairs and back the other way. And um, so we started off with a short flush. And with our coffee in our environment, it works. The more water we throw through here, and the hotter this is going to get. Yeah. So there's more chance of it overheating. Well, water is a precious resource, so if we can figure out a way of using less of it, also, for it. Yeah, and the more I'm thinking about it, the better it is. Because if I take it to biting point and then release, that that's easy to replicate every single time, consistency-wise, rather than one person need to do for one second, two seconds, three seconds. That's just the biting point release. The purpose of that is just to get rid of eventually any ground that is left on the shower speed. It's not just to eat up the poop. Right. right. Yeah. It's, that's yeah. The, I think that's the misperception, yeah. is that people feel like they have to warm up. Their no, see, the purpose of it is, is to just get rid of it. Yeah, it's nothing to do with some machines you reduce the heat because some of the heat exchange machines, the old ones, um, they, they're bubbling, it's like so you run loads of water through until uh, the water cools down and with other machines, the multi-boiler ones, you've got to increase the heat so you purge to increase the heat in the boiler. All we need to do is clean the stuff off the uh, Shower screen, that's it. Don't need to do anything else. It's just, just to clean it. 